So these places are all over Thailand. They're actually legal and they not only sell... Oh no, the little leg. Here we go. Uh, uh. Well, hello my people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for coming back and waste your time watching my videos. <laughs> Tonight we are at Chilva Market, very popular market here in Phuket. I'm having this delicious drink called Yim Yam. It's like a mixture of bubble tea and frozen yogurt. It's got jelly, baba, condensed milk, definitely not healthy but yummy for sure. Anyway guys, today we are gonna walk around this night market. We're gonna eat insects here, yeah, the same thing we did in China, if you remember. Very popular video here, 1.3 million views. I'll put the link in a little card up here and without any further ado let's go come to Thailand you'll notice a bunch of open red Fanta bottles at shrines I will tell you why turns out that these shrines are called spirit houses and a spirit house is believed to be a place for good spirits to congregate and apparently they like sweet stuff they like red Fanta so every morning some people leave offerings at these shrines as a form of gratitude for keeping the evil spirits away from us and if you were brave enough and decided to steal one of these offerings they say that you can expect a tragic accident to happen to you so don't even think about taking one of these offerings even though some of those red fantas are still nice and cold <laughs> what is it soy sauce or yeah. oh, okay okay good good all right guys so this is the presentation of the insects they come with a little toothpick let's see if we can do this guys let's see what we have here oh look at them which one are we gonna have first the cricket the little oh yum <laughs> The little cricket. These ones are actually silkworm. That one, I forgot the name of these big ones, but I'm gonna find out and I'll let you all know, okay? And this big one must be a bigger cricket. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I'm ready. Bruh. Let's start with just a little cricket. Oh, bro, that's very crunchy. It doesn't taste bad, actually. Let's try this one. Ready, ready? Mm. Oh no! It tastes like chewing on something old. What? Like something dirty. What the f By the way, fun fact, they wash them like three times to get rid of the smell before they deep fry them. Oh no, I'm not ready for the big cricket. Ready, ready for the big cricket? I'm shaking. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh no, the little leg. Oh, bro, that is. <coughs> now, the next one will be this one, which I owe you the name. I'm gonna put it on the screen when I find it. Pendejo. I think it's the same one that they put in the mezcal. Pendejo. That little leg doesn't belong here. Oh. oh, look how fluffy it is. Yuck, it's so soft. Here we go. Uh, uh. Oh, it popped. <laughs> They're looking at me. <laughs> They're laughing at me because I almost vomited. <laughs> oh. 
Do you sell something to drink? No, he didn't understand me, but oh my god, that one almost made me vomit, honestly. Oh, I still have it in my mouth, but I don't want to spit it out because that would be disrespectful. I really need something to drink, and as soon as I finish here, I'm gonna leg it and get a drink. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, look how big it is. Damn. Uh, um. Oh my goodness. It was actually full of air. Oh, it was mainly air. Mm, but now it tastes like insect. Alright, that's enough. So these places are all over Thailand. They're actually legal and they not only sell products and food with cannabis, but they also sell joints, like joint, like actual joints and weed and everything. That's amazing. Here they're selling tea with cannabis. So guys, I didn't quite understand what she said about the legality of this, but apparently it's legal. I already read about it. So let's take a sip and see what it tastes like. This tastes like tea, like herbal tea, that's it. But we won't see what happens to me in this video. I'll go home and see what happens and I'll let you know. You okay? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> and I'll let you know in the next video. Or maybe if something happens in about an hour or two, I'll turn on the camera and I'll let you know if I feel anything or not, okay? One of the things I love about this country is that basically everywhere you go, you'll find these nice little places where you can chill. They sell beer like everywhere, like alcohol, any cocktails or anything you want to get. They're just there and then you can grab and everything. It's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, yes. Guys, after that freaking fat warm, any juice would taste delicious. Like, honestly, this one tastes so good. That's the palm, palm juice, they call it. From the little terrace here, which there are a few of them around the market, you can see the whole market from up above. It's a really big market actually. It goes beyond those trees that you see there. So guys, now that we're here in this market, you can find clothes, souvenirs, as I said before, little shoes. Supreme, look, original Supremes. <laughs> you can get anything and everything you want. And I would advise you to get all the souvenirs here because obviously it's cheaper. Cheaper than at Patong Beach and all those popular touristy places. Plus, you know, you get brands here. <laughs> they seem to love Supreme. I'm just trying out these new glasses. What do you think? Do they suit me or not? Bruh. So I ended up buying these ones, relying on some Thai woman's advice. <laughs> 
She gave me her advice as to which one to choose. I don't know if they suit me, but we'll see. Whenever you come to Thailand, you really have to come to the night markets because they're really fun. There is always plenty to do, plenty to eat. You'll meet a lot of cool people here. There is one thing I have to say, guys. Unlike Chinese people, if you remember my video, eating insects in China. In China, it's not really common for them to eat insects, believe it or not. That street in Beijing, Wangfujin, it's mainly for tourists. And mainly tourists go there and eat insects. But here in Thailand, it's something very, very common. People actually like eating insects because it's a really good source of protein, minerals, and other healthy things. Wanna say hi to my subscribers? Hello. Do you, are you from Thailand? Yes, I'm from Thailand. Ah, how do you say hi in Thai? Savadikrab. <laughs> do you like eating insects? What? No, I just had a lot of insects here. They tasted so weird. I almost vomited. <laughs> yeah. See you, buddy. Take care. Oh. There you go. I have a fan in Thailand. <laughs> That little kid stood right there the whole time whilst I was recording this and he waited for me to finish to ask me about my YouTube channel. How cool is that? <laughs> Goodbye cool kid! And with Silva Market as my backdrop, I will have to say see you next time. Thank you so much for wasting your time watching my video. I really hope you come back. Leave me your comments down below. You can give me your opinion about this video and my other videos. Give me ideas as to what to do on my YouTube channel. There is one thing I want to know. I want to know if in your country it's normal to eat insects or not. And that's it guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm very active there. I'm posting stories and pictures like basically every day. And without anything else to say, adios! Oh, wow.